Um, in this short video, I'm just going to give you a few tips on how to revise for computer science. Um, on the Key Stage 3 Computer Science OneNote, which I'm currently showing, I've listed the topics um, that will be on the test in a couple of weeks' time. Um, this is going to be your starting point. Now, we did some work in lessons on um, these topics. Um, so you should have in your books um, materials that you produced while we worked through these topics. Now, we did some of this work um, practically and you were doing like little uh, exercises to do with like the AI you did a built a presentation for it. But to review this work, you need to combine sources of information. Now, it's really important that what you do is you do something that is not passive. It's no good just reading back through things. So you've got your materials and there are some materials here that I've listed on the uh, computer science notebook. So we've got the knowledge organizer. So this document has got lots and lots of different topics on it. It's got more information than what you need, but you can look at specific uh, elements from the computer science. So if you want to look at, let's say we're revising the images, you could go through it until you get to how an image is stored or how is sound stored. And then you can look at the information there, but it, you've got to do a little bit more than look. What you need to do is to be making something. So either making some notes, looking at your own notes and comparing and adding some stuff to it. Or, or doing some sort of diagram form. It depends on what's easiest for you to revise from. Some people like little flashcards, lists. Some people like diagrams. Pick the method that works for you, but you have to physically create something. Whether that's something you do on the computer or whether it's something you just do on a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what the medium is. The process is the key element. OK, so it's important that what you don't use is just one source of information. So we've got the knowledge organizer here. But also I've given you some links to BBC Bite Size. Now it's got GCSE materials and it's got key stage three materials. Some of the key stage three materials, if I just click, they're a little on the simple side, but they may give you a nice introduction to a topic so that you can think about tackling it a little bit um, more complicated with the GCSE. So it might say, oh, the GCSE stuff, I'm not getting some of the concepts. You can go to the simpler stuff, the overview, which is what the key stage three's got a lot in there, and then come back and look at the, the GCSE materials. And you'll see, the, this is the, the simpler stuff. But it, it's no good you just going through this and reading. It's really important that you look at this stuff and you look at these, this bit here about color palettes and number of bits per pixel and you write things down. And you can see it relates to the binary work we've done as well. Okay, so it's, it's really important. So that's one, one set of resources that you can combine. But we've also got access to Teach ICT, which again has got key stage three materials, although the, the Teach ICT ones are really simple. Um, you're better off looking at the GCSE stuff, but it's it's about combining different resources. Now, there's nothing to stop you searching on the Internet, but you have to be careful that you don't go too deep uh, and too high level. OK, so it's always probably a good idea to think about putting the keyword GCSE whenever you're searching for anything. So if you were to search for image information, you'd put GCSE, storing images, computer science, something like that, and you could use that. Okay, so it's not wrong to go out onto the internet and find resources. You might find some things that are really super interesting and they may um, give you more depth, but they'll help with understanding the more basic concepts. So. It's all about reading. It's all about taking what you've read and combining it into a form that is something that you can access later. 
the form of that is entirely up to you and it may be that what you need to do is try a few different uh, ways of taking notes um, so please experiment go with things that work if you try something and it doesn't work you say I can't recall that things look for different ways of taking notes and making records of what you've been studying okay but the key thing for me is multiple materials if you find that you look at your notes and they're a little bit weak then this is a great opportunity to update those notes okay that's my tips